Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be explaining all about what the use context hook in React is, how to use it, and why you should use it. And all the code in the video will be provided in the description below in the GitHub. So let's get started. So what I have here in my VS code is a simple React app with three components, component A, B, and C. And I am nesting each component in each other. So in component A, I'm nesting B, and in B, I'm nesting C. And in component A, I have some text hello from component A and let's say I want to pass it to component C. So to do that, we will first pass it to component B, which we will do as text is equal to text and in component B, we get it as props and then we finally send it to component C. So the component C will do text is equal to props.text. And finally in component C, we can get props here and we can display the value. So we can do props.text. Now, if we do that, and if we open it, as you can see, we pass the text from component A all the way to component C. Now, this is pretty cool, but let's say we have a pretty big app which has a lot of components, and let's say we want to send some data from component A to all the way to, let's say, some component G, right? So that's pretty far. To do that, doing prop drilling, which means just sending data from props to props, it's pretty bad because it can get pretty tedious. So today, we'll be learning how to make it so we can set up a like a global value which we can access from anywhere else in the app. So to get started with using the context API, we want to first go to the component which is going to have the value which we do, which we want the other components to be able to access so our value would be the text hello from component a and to make this available to component b and component c we have to first uh, import create context from react and under all these imports we can make a export so we can do export const Let's give our context a descriptive name. So let's do text context is equal to create. Whoops, is equal to create context. Now, let's um, let's make it so that this context is available to components B and C. To do this, let's first delete component B from here, and let's make a a um, a context provider. So we can do text context dot provider and let's give this a value and the value would be text now if we do this as you can see it's, it'll, auto, it'll auto complete and in here we can put component B so what I basically did here was I made a text context and I made it so that we can access it from the other files so we put an export here and the reason we put text context dot provider, it's because we use dot provider whenever we're in our component, which is going to have the value. So if let's say this const text um, variable was in component B, then we would do the same with text context dot provider. Now, to be able to use the text from anywhere else in the app, we can Go over, go over to one of our child components, so component B, and in here, we have to first um, import use context from React, and we also have to import our context. So as you can see, that that's why we exported here. So we so we have to do um, import text context text context. Uh, there we go. So we have to import text context from component A. Now, let's actually uh, make the context here. So we can do const text value is equal to use context text context. Now that we have um, imported the text value, we can go on over under B and we can make an h2 tag and in the tag let's put the text value 
now if we save this and open it up in our browser as you can see under um, under B it's going to say hello from component A now let's say we wanted it to also have access to component C we we'll do the same so we do first import use context from react and we also import text context from component A and in the function we do const text value is equal to uh, use context text context and in the h2 we can just put the text value save it and if we open it up as you can see component c will also have hello from component a and um, the great thing about the context API is it doesn't matter if we have just three components or, or 3000 we can use text value in any one of them without having to do prop drilling so you know use context the the context API all, all in all is just very um, useful it's very um, helpful if we have a bunch of components and like a very big app so if you enjoyed this video Go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.